and his, uh, his advice. We are going to leave this advice for inshallah tomorrow because tomorrow we are going to start uh, uh, looking at the responsibility. What, our, uh, what are our responsibilities in this time? What should we do, you know, while waiting the imam? But today, let's take some incidences. Allama Bahr al-Ulum, rahmatullah alayh. This Bahr al-Ulum family is very well known. Very well. The, the descendants of descendants of descendants of Bahr al-Ulum are scholars. You will see in Najaf, so many. The whole family is called Ailat Bahr al-Ulum. Al Bahr al-Ulum. This man. So Bahr al-Ulum, he was a regular scholar. He was not, Bahr al-Ulum means ocean or sea of knowledge. He was not considered, he did not have this title. What happened? He used to have this uh, uh, amnesia type that he, whenever he memorizes, he forgets. Memorizes, he forgets. He, he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he did the tawassul of the Imam alayhi salatu wasalam and he, he seeked the help from the Imam, help me. I'm memorizing, I'm trying to study, but I keep forgetting. So, uh, Allama Bahr al-Uloom used to say that nobody can see the Imam alayhi salatu wasalam in the occultation. Nobody, because we said that there is a hadith which says, but that hadith says that whoever sees me, and the interpretation is, and, cons uh, and, and claims the representation, that person is liar. Man al mushahada, means mushahada means he says that I saw Imam and he gave me the representation. That person is the liar, not any other person. If you get blessing, you get blessed with meeting the Imam, either in your dream, either in your reality, that is the Imam. Because we have plenty of ahadith of Ahlul Bayt, alayhi salatu wa narrate, Man ra'ana, kana ka man ra'ana haqqan. Whoever sees us, as he has seen us in truth, in reality. فَإِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ لَا يَتَمَثَّلُ بِنَا Shaitan does not take our form. Shaitan, if someone comes into your dream and tells you that he's your imam, he is your imam. He's not shaitan. Shaitan cannot take the, uh, the body of imam or shaitan cannot even pretend that he's imam or he's the prophet. So our uh, imam Ali comes in the dream. So Sayyid, Sayyid Bahr al-Ulum, rahmatullah alayhi, he used to say, it is not possible to see the imam. It is because the hadith says like that. That after that, he started to interpret the hadith. Before, no, he used to take it literally. Man al mushahada, whoever claims that he has seen, he is a liar. But then he started. So he started to say that, uh, that I have seen the imam, you know. And uh, the students, they say, Mawlana, you are the one who says that nobody can see the imam. What happened? He says, how cannot I say now? that you can see Imam, and I have been hugged by the Imam. وَقَدَّمَّنِي إِلَىٰ صَدْرِهِ There's a story mentioned in the books of ulama, books of uh, Sayyid uh, Bahr al-Ulum, that when he was complaining about his uh, memory, one day he met the Imam, and Imam hugged him so hard, that since that day, he never ever forgets anything. And that's after that, his title became Bahr al-Ulum, Ocean of Knowledge. Because whatever he, he, he reads, uh, stays, maintains, it stays inside his mind. That's the time he became more knowledgeable, more knowledgeable until he became one of the top personalities, one of the top ayatullahs or the top ayatullah marja of his time, Sayyid Bahr al-Ulum, rahmatullah alayhi. So Sayyid Bahr al-Ulum has several incidences, not once, several times. There's an incident, he, the, the 12th Imam came to him and gave him salams in the Salat. There's an incident about the Aza, Latmiyat. The people, they used to humiliate uh, certain types of uh, Latmiyat and Sina Zani and all these kind of things. Uh, all these people, the Shias, they're crazy doing this. So one day, uh, Sayyid, uh, Sayyid Bahr al-Ulum, Rahmatullah alayhi, he was walking in the streets of Karbala, and suddenly he joined this group. He took his amama out, he took his abba, gave it to a student, and with them. People, they're surprised. The students, the house of students, what's, what's going on with uh, Sayyid Bahr al-Ulum? He came back, said, Sayyidna, I mean, you are alim like that. And you go with these people, with ignorant people, doing these kind of uh, movements of Ya Hussein, Ya Hussein, Ya Hussein. He said, how could I not do that? And my imam was doing it. My imam was amongst them, grieving on my, 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 imam, my grandfather Hussein, because he's Sayyid. So he said, how could I not do like that? Who? Uh, I'm, I'm better than my imam? No way. My imam did that. I am doing that. 
So these, these, tra- uh, these, 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 these grieving sessions which comes out sincerely from your heart for the tragedy of Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam, these are not, do not belittle it. The Imam participates in these kind of uh, gatherings. So Sayyid Bahr al-Ulum rahmatullahi, he's one of those who saw the Imam several times. And his ayatullah al uzma marja' of his time. We said, regular people, huh? But these are not, not regular people. These are top people. M- hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people, they used to do taqlid to Ayatullah Bahr al-Ulum, rahmatullah alayhi. This is one. 